Hey guys, this is an HP LaserJet MFP printer um, that we're going to unbox today so we can see what's inside the box when you order this online. Um, it's a newer printer from HP LaserJet line, um, MFP M series, uh, model number is 234, SDWE, S stands for having a stacker which is this item right here it's where you put originals and you can scan a few at a time or make copies of a few like a whole stack at the same time the d stands for double-sided printing feature that it has w stands for wireless connectivity and e is for e-smart um, means you can print off of an email directly to this printer um, so it's pretty much up-to-date printer here in 2023 um, uh, uses 134A toner um, so let's just get right to it just wanted to show you what's included in the box um, that's what concerns me when I buy a printer online um, is what's included in the box what's not included what I should be aware of and that sort of thing so Like inside, we have a power cord here. That aside, this is the additional tray. It, uh, not additional; it has to be installed in order to um, put in front of the printer. That's where the paper goes. So that. Then we have a little manual book. So this one, these two pieces, there's just two pieces of foam here. So best way to pull it out of the printer is to set it on a table like this here. I'll show you in a minute where this is the top, this is the bottom, and we're just going to slide it out. All right, so we go ahead and just pull this out like this here, making sure that it stays on the table. There we go. We can see that the box is empty at this point. So we'll just need to remove all these uh, plastic pieces here. Make sure you do that before you turn the printer on. So this just opens up if you have longer than a letter sized paper. Um, when it comes out here, you put originals in here in order to scan them or make copies of. And they'll just come out on the bottom here. of everything in the back so we don't forget so this is the only uh, piece that's in the back it was holding the back door and uh, that definitely needs to be closed you can also connect through the ethernet wire directly to your computer if you don't want to um, use the wireless I'm not sure what this I don't think it has it says USB and it's like crossed out so I guess it doesn't have the USB option actually it does yeah, I'm not sure why it says that, but um, maybe it, I'll find out. I'll try to look into it, why it does that, but there is a direct uh, USB connection through the USB wire, so maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. So. The newer and the unique thing about this particular model is it doesn't have um, this color um, display screen. 
uh, because HP wants you to use your phone or your uh, computer for that, but it does have a little screen in order for you to just make copies without going into your phone, which is this here, it's at the bottom of this tray. So let me put this tray first. This is that tray that uh, adds on to here. It needs to be here. That's where you will load your paper. So we're going to go ahead and see I'm trying to load paper in here. Let's remove this. So this is supposed to come out like that. Then we can remove this plastic here. That allows us to use this um, Here, remove um, tape here, then pull the tr uh, toner out. Actually, it doesn't need anything on pack. That piece that we pulled out earlier, this one here, that was protecting the toner, I believe. So, you get a starter toner with the printer. Um, if you're at the store trying to buy this, and uh, usually uh, sales people would uh, recommend that you get toner because this is going to end fast. So I'm not sure how many pages this, but usually about five to six hundred uh, six hundred pages is included in the first toner. <clears throat> so here we're all ready to go. Toner goes back in there. Actually, you really don't need to pull it out. Removing those papers kind of takes care of the issue of the toner installation. And go ahead and there's this button right here over here that you can just press back and forth in order to adjust the width usually going all the way to the right opens it up to the standard letter size paper you're gonna put that in there um, it's at 11 inches so that's the correct uh, length. If you need it longer, you just pop this one down. This, uh, but usually you. That's for A4. But if you have legal, for example, paper, then it'll need this open. Put this tray down. So it's pretty cool. Uh, good size for an all-in-one laser printer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to the power. So on the back, if you look on this side, this is where the power cord goes. Make sure you put it in there fully. So we have the printer plugged in, and then we just need to turn the power on by pressing this button here. You can hear the printer starting to work. So while the printer starting up, it's going to take probably a couple minutes, um, actually it's ready less than a minute. Um, everything that you need to do in order to set it up is in the instructions. This manual that it com comes with basically shows how to unpack, unpack it and then go to scan this QR code in order to download the HP Smart app um, and get this printer started starting to work. That's where you connect to uh, your router and everything else. So the printer only comes with toner and power cord um, and everything that you see it's basically a complete printer ready to print and do all your printing work. It is black and white so it's not color um, but usually for quick printing and for ma majority of your printing needs that's what you'll need so this is a great printer for that. The good thing on this one, on this printer, is that you really don't need um, your phone or your computer in order to make a copy. 
All you can do is just put the um, original over here. Actually pretty cool looking um, scanner. You put it on here and then you just press the copy button, which is this one here, in order to make a copy. Um, there's a plus and minus if you need to make a few copies, so you just press, for example, you need five copies of something, so you would just press that and then you press a copy. So it's pretty straightforward and pretty cool. Um, information button we'll go through that in different videos but um, the I button prints out basically a report of this printer with the serial number and how many pages it printed and things like that one last thing before I finish this video I wanted to check if it will connect through the USB cord and it did I was able to connect it here in the back I removed that sticker that recommended we use the wireless uh, so it had a sticker uh, over the USB connection. That's where I put the USB printer cord and connected it directly to my printer. Didn't download anything. It found everything online um, <clears throat> and was able to install the printer into my computer. And now it's fully there. I'm going to try to send a page through so we could see if it communicates with the printer, but um, with the computer and back and forth. So. It seems like it is because you can even send a scan job right from the computer through this cord to the wire. Sent a test page through from the computer. And here we go. And um, like I said, in order to make copies, you can put a few pages in there, either inside here, but this time, oops, should be more careful. So you just put it in here, I believe, yeah. Print it side up, and then you just press the copy button right here with one copy. You should feed it in there just like that, and print out a copy. So it's a pretty cool printer, straightforward. I'm gonna keep it and use it um, for my everyday needs uh, because I just uh, want to go ahead and with the wireless printer. This one looks pretty cool matches our other devices so um thank you guys for watching i hope this was helpful for you and uh check out our other vid videos in the future i'll be able to post troubleshooting videos for this uh, printer uh maybe a setup print uh, video for the phone um it's, it should be straightforward but i'm pretty sure sometimes that could help out someone in any case, if you could support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel, we would really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you guys.